What's going on? We're going to show you a cool variation to really spice up rowing. Um, basically, this is called the inverted row. All you're going to do is just grab a Smith machine if you have access to it. If not, you can use a regular barbell, put some weights on the side, you're good to go. Uh, but basically here, you're just going to line up. I like to have my hands just outside shoulder width. Okay. You're going to wait and want to make sure when you set up that your arms are actually, uh, your wrist is straight. And you're going to really want to make sure to drive your heels into the ground. These are all very important factors in performing the inverted row. From this point, you want to try to bring your nipples up towards the um, bar like this. Okay. Core nice and tight. All the way up. Control two to three seconds down. Okay. Up. Down. And if you want to get a bit more biceps, cool little variation. Switch it up. This is just overall a great exercise if you want to just use your body weight, you don't have access to any weights and you want to spice up your rowing um, variations, give this one a try, it's amazing. Alright, real quick, I got three common mistakes for you, we're going to walk through them really, really quick. Uh, so the first, as you can see me doing on the screen here, is bending my hips downward. The goal here is to actually bring those glutes up, squeeze the glutes, and what we're doing there is posturing out our chest. You can see me doing that here, and this way I'm going to have more ability to squeeze my back. Next up is improper positioning. If I'm too far away or too close, it's going to be a really awkward row. It's not going to be optimized. The goal here, as you can see me doing it properly, is my elbows are coming in with a natural movement as opposed to me wiggling, trying to have to do something weird. Then last but not least, range of motion. You can't go all the way up, you're doing it wrong. Try one of these three easier variations that Kyle's going to show you. Now for those of you who struggle with doing this, because it actually can be pretty complicated, two ways to actually make this a little bit easier for you to accomplish and feel great in the gym with this awesome exercise is, you can actually just bend your knees, try to create almost a 90 degree angle, kind of like a tabletop position, and do the exact same thing that we showed you. Bringing your nipples up towards the ceiling, all the way down, okay? Just like this. And if you're in control and doing it properly, you still will feel it greatly. It's way better doing that and then doing this next one than doing half reps and doing it improperly. You can bring this all the way up to a higher level. Kind of lean back with your legs straight. And there's going to be less gravity being pulled up here. You're just going to be using less of your body weight to pull up. But still bring your nipples up towards the ceiling. It's a weird cue, but that's kind of how you know you're doing it properly. And control it all the way down. If you like this video and if you learned a lot, First link in the description is a ultimate form guide. It's like a personal trainer in your pocket. Click that, click the second link in the description if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching to get the best results that you'll ever be able to accomplish by yourself, we're your coaches, we're your form guys, and we're willing to help you out. See you later, peace.